man we back we back we got to come back around man listen we got some new information we got some new details coming out about that little story that happened about that pg county police officer black women out here you know having intimate relations in public with the with the police you know what i'm saying it's, it's very uh it's very interesting but anyways we got some new details coming out you know identities have been revealed the storyline has been revealed the wife has been revealed the mistress has been revealed let's talk about it man now on this video i'm not going to be naming names i'm not going to be releasing identities because i don't know if that's against youtube guidelines youtube policy doxing people putting out their personal information on the internet so i'm not going to be putting out any names on this video but a very interesting article came out as you can see by the headline the wife of the maryland cop who was caught on camera in a loving embrace with the woman is battling out on facebook with her husband's paramour and the paramour just means you know the side chick the mistress you know what i mean the skeezer but anyways Take a look up on the screen. This is the wife right here. This wifey right here. She said this. There goes my husband and his mistress. She posted that about 20 hours ago. And then her friends jumped into the comment section to provide moral support. You know how it goes, man. When a woman gets cheated on and she gets her heart broken, the homegirl's got to come in and embrace her and hold it down. And, girl, you know, you need anything? It's, it's going to be all right, girl. You know what I mean? The homegirl came into the comment section and she said this. You okay, love? I'm here if you need to talk. And she said, I'm not okay. Damn, she sound like she going through it, man. She sound like she going through it. But anyway, stay tuned because the story, the story gets crazier, man. The story gets, it gets crazier. Now, she went on Facebook about eight hours ago and she posted this. Thank you, everyone. Yes, this is a very tough time for me and my kids. As embarrassing and painful as this is, please check in on us. We need the support, the love, and most of all, the respect from the community and our families. Yes, I know what's been going on. No, I'm not updating anyone on the situation after today. Virginia's husband left her a long time ago because she cheated. So she and my husband decided to do this behind my back for years. I'm not seeking anyone's input. I don't need anyone's opinion. My life is my life. I will make decisions accordingly. I love you all, except for you, Virginia. You can rot in hell. Now, Virginia was the one that we seen on camera getting bent over in the back seat of the police vehicle and we're gonna get into her in a little bit we're gonna get into her in a little bit because she actually responded and she said this take a look up on the screen not that i owe anyone an explanation this girl has been cheating on her husband for a while now herself i know everything everyone look this is life and y'all know nothing i've done nothing wrong all i want to say is y'all have the wrong information she is not saying the whole story which i understand but please don't be mad at me because your husband wants me now, brothers, I think I should do a video entitled The Importance of Black Men Choosing the Proper Mothers for Their Children. Because this lady right here, she has she has multiple, multiple black children. I believe she has like two or three girls and, and a son. And imagine, I even mentioned it on my last video. Imagine being raised by a black woman who recreationally engages in intimate relations with white policemen. Imagine, like, what lessons is your is your black mother gonna teach you? I think I should really I should really do a video entitled the importance of choosing the right mother for your children man because a black boy under this under this tutelage under this stewardship with the mother with this mentality you know like i said a woman like this doesn't have the capacity to raise a high level intellectual revolutionary minded black men these are the women with this mentality that raise the black men we see out in the streets that contribute nothing to society that contribute nothing to the community these are their mothers these are their teachers that's why I tell y'all boys, the importance of choosing the proper mother for your children, I think I should dedicate a video to that topic alone. I should dedicate a video to that topic alone because yes, I tell y'all boys to stay away from the divesters. Once you see a divester, run. Grab your track shoes and start running. But I think I should go deeper on that topic because it's way deeper than just the divesters. Choosing the wrong mother for your children can be disastrous for your bloodline, brother. It can make or break your bloodline because like I said, God forbid you pass away. The mother is gonna be the one that picks up the torch and carries the torch so you got to make sure the woman you choose has the proper mentality to carry on your legacy these women right here man listen man let, let the white man have them bro let the white man have them let, let the white man have them man but anyways let's jump into the article let's learn about this policeman this is the second suspension for officer marlett who was previously charged with child abuse back in 2016 for allegedly knocking a three-year-old child unconscious those charges were dropped and his record was expunged Officer Marlett was also suspended for a month back in May 2023, a few months ago, after being accused of domestic violence. So not only is he out here smashing black women in, in broad daylight, he out here beating black women up under the protection of the badge. He then returned to duty in June a month later. Man, listen, 
If anybody ain't gonna say it, I'ma just say it. For any woman that's listening, I'ma just give you the same speech that I would that I would give my any of my sisters. If you wanna go date, if you wanna go mess with them white cops, understand that that man has the power to knock you out, knock your kids out, delete you, and he can do that all under the protection of the badge. And on top of that, he's a white man and you're a black woman. So the power imbalance in that relationship, you already know. You already know. That's why he beat up that three-year-old child, knocked him unconscious, dropped the charges, record expunged, back to work. Beating up his black wife, back to work next month. And even with this latest incident, I guarantee he's going to be back to work. So a lot of y'all women run around talking about protection, protection, protection. I'm going to tell you right now, you run around having intimate relations with white men, with white cops. There is no protection for you. There is no leverage for you. There is no privilege for you. I'm sorry. You got to understand the society that you live in. I think a lot of women have this illusion that they believe that the privilege is going to rub off on them. But it doesn't work like that, man. It, it doesn't work like that, man. It's never worked like that in this society. It's never worked like that. And I gave y'all the rundown the history of PG County in the last video. So just the historical context behind it. A lot of people like we're just we're just not serious, man. But anyways, let's get back into it. Take a look up on the screen. This is actually the wife of Officer Marlett. You know what I mean? The wife is, is lightly complected and this and the mistress is dark chocolate. Looking like she fresh out of Africa. Looking like she fresh out that West Coast of Africa. You know, listen, just like his ancestors, man. Let me tell you. Just like his ancestors. You see, the white man back in the colonial period, when it came to his wife, the wife would be, you know, the European wife, or it would be a, a mixed race wife, right? A mixed race mulatless. You know what I mean? A, a mulatto woman. But then his mistress, the one that he would be, you know, back in, in the slave quarters, you know, late night when nobody's watching, he would sneak into the slave quarters. It would be that dark chocolate. That dark chocolate fresh out the West Coast of Africa. That's what he would be creeping with on the side. You know what I mean? He go into the slave in the slave quarters and he would fulfill all of his degenerate desires, all of his carnal fantasies, all of his degenerate inclinations, all of his salacious yearnings, all of his lustful cravings, all of his hedonistic desires. He would go fulfill that with the dark chocolate woman in the slave quarters late at night when nobody's watching. But during the day, he would be with his white wife or his mulatto wife. You know what I mean? He would go home to his to his mixed race wife or his white wife, but behind closed doors when nobody's watching, he with that dark chocolate under under the cover of darkness. Man, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. When you're a student of history, when you study the history of your people and you know it back in front, like the back of your hand, there is nothing walking this earth that can surprise you because everything that you see right now, I guarantee that we've seen it before. Now, the story is not done, fellas. The story is not done. Now we have the one of the relatives of the wife actually came forward. You know what I mean? She actually provided some additional information, some insight on the situation. Take a look up on the screen. This person said, wait, they identified him already? And the lady at the bottom, that's the relative right there. She said this. The family knows who his sorry ass is. That's my niece's husband. Interesting. Let's continue. She went on to say. He's a whole married specimen to my damn niece. He's trash, been trash with a rack of kids. We tried to warn her. He even cheated with his damn boss inside their house. Oh my goodness. God damn. Man. I thought y'all lady said, man, I thought y'all lady said, when y'all go to the other side, y'all gonna be living like, y'all gonna be living like the white women. She lived with her feet up. She living a good life. That's what y'all said. Y'all said when y'all go with the white man, y'all gonna be lamping in the lap of luxury. That's what y'all said. That's what y'all said. Yeah, that's what y'all said, man. That's what y'all said. But it seems like y'all going through the same struggles and the same turmoil and the same chaos that our foremothers went through, that our ancestors went through. Y'all going through the same shit in the modern day. The only difference is you willingly sign up for it. Our foremothers, you know what I'm saying? They were in a compromised position, but you willingly sign up to be a goofy. Let's continue. Now, Tarina Shee decided to chime in on the situation. Now, listen, I took my boot temporarily off Tarina Shee's neck because I dropped like five videos on Tariq in the past week. I got like a limit. You know what I'm saying? I got like a limit. I got a certain limit when it comes to Tariq videos. I hit my limit on the past month. I seen some of his shenanigans over the past few days, but I'm going to let him I'm going to let him rock for a little bit. I'm going to let him rock. I'm going to let him rock. But anyways, he decided to chime in and he said this. That cop is married to a white woman. You know, Tariq always spreading false information. You know, you know, Tariq, you know what I'm saying? Tariq always spreading some false information, man. You know, shout out to Tariq, though. And the relative of the wife, she responded and she said this. No, he is not married to a white woman. He is married to my niece. Come on, y'all. Just stop. Man, Tariq, you know, Tariq always there with the false information. Shout out to Tariq. Let's continue. This person said, wow, why am I not surprised? The wife has to be embarrassed since they released his name. And the relative said this, yes, she's going through all the emotions. Now the embarrassment kicks in. The person at the top said, the thing is, he was in uniform and a government vehicle near a playground with children. I don't care about anything else unless she was a minor. And the relative responded and she said, he has a wife and 50,000 kids. Okay, I don't think he really has 50,000 kids. You know what I'm saying? He probably has a lot of kids. He don't have 50,000 kids. 
And the person responded and said this, how many kids? Yes, I have yet to understand men with wives that stay unhappily married and then go back to community D. And the relative said this, he has three small babies with her, but he has others out there too. Now, brothers, brothers, you know, maybe I'm just too much of an introspective thinker, but this is just a modern day version of what's been going on in the Western Hemisphere, in the European colonies for centuries, right? You got, you got a powerful white man in a powerful position working for the government. You got his light-skinned wife at home. He's beating her up. He's beating up the kids. He goes to court. All charges dropped. He's having intimate relations with dark-skinned, dark chocolate women on the side behind his wife's back. He got a bunch of baby mamas. He got a bunch of kids, probably a bunch of mixed-race kids. Let's be honest. What is the difference between this white cop and the white European planters that were living in PG County back in 1824? What's the difference? They were both smashing black women. Smashing black women on the side had their mulatto wife at home. They were living above the law. You cannot hold them accountable If you try to if you try to bring them to court all charges will be dropped because they're gonna believe him because he's the white man And they're not gonna believe you because you're a black woman. So I mean, what is the difference? What has really changed? From the 19th century to the 21st century The only thing that changed is black women willingly sign up to be a part of this circus You see our foremothers they were in a compromised situation, but the modern-day black woman She willingly signs up puts in her application so she can join the circus it is what it is. But anyways, take a look up on the screen. This person said, also, what does your niece say about this? I feel bad for her and their kids now that it's gone viral. He's so disrespectful. I hope she gets every penny from him. Was he always like this? Blatant, nasty. Your niece definitely would need family support. And the relative said this, without going into all her business, my sister says it's bad. Whatever you believe, just say a prayer for her and those babies. He's been trash. Google that roach. We tried to tell her, but now listen, I don't understand it, bruh. This is what I mean when I talk about like she doesn't have any male relatives. There is no there is no father around. There is no brother around. Like I just couldn't. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. If I found out, if I found out that my sister was getting beat on by a white man, you know, my nieces and nephews getting beat on by some white man, bro, you just gonna see me on the news, man. You're gonna see Nefakari Desaline on the news. You're gonna see my mugshot. That's gonna that's gonna be my face reveal. You're gonna see my mugshot on Fo on Fox 5 News. You know what I'm saying? Uh, suspect arrested in a homicide investigation. Uh, a uh, policeman was shot uh, 85 times uh, in a domestic dispute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that is what would happen if my sisters were put in that level of danger, especially by a white cop, especially by a white man, especially by a white man. I'm going to see red. If, if a white man did that to my sister, I'm seeing red. I'm seeing red. I'm seeing red. The whole spot getting shot up, boy. The whole spot getting obliterated. That is what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. So that happened back in 2016 when he caught that charge of beating that three-year-old child unconscious. And he and he beat, he beat the case. He beat the case, man. He beat the case because he's a white man and he's a white cop. You already know what time it is, man. Them boys damn nigga got diplomatic immunity. And if you watched my video yesterday on this topic when I broke down the history of PG County and the historical context, this situation is just, this situation is crazy. But let's continue. This person said, he hit the child's butt and the child hit his head allegedly. That's how he beat the case. And the relative said this, lies. The grand jury said, try him. A three-year-old on the spectrum cannot testify. Her mom succumbed to the bullshit. Wow, so hold on. So the three-year-old child was autistic. So he beat a three-year-old child, a three-year-old autistic child unconscious, and then he beat the case. And the mom didn't want to press charges. She dropped the charges. Listen, she already knew what time it was. She knows the power imbalance. She knows as a black woman going up against a, a white male cop, you know what time it is, man. But I'm just saying this. If that was my sister, if that was my sister, th this officer, he would be in the realm of his ancestors right now. He would not be walking the earth amongst the land of the living. He would not be here no more if that was my relative. Maybe she don't got no real black men up in her lineage, up in her bloodline. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be me. It wouldn't be me. Because if that was me, like I said, you would see my mugshot on Fox 5 News. You know what I'm saying? Suspect arrested. Nefakari Dessaline. You know what I'm saying? Facing 100 years. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. When it comes to my sisters, I'm crashing out. I'm telling you. Any one of you boys lay a finger on my sisters. That's the end of your existence. I promise you that. I promise you that. I promise you that. Lay a finger on any woman in my family you have signed your death certificate. I swear to God. Now, let's continue. This person said, how the hell do you beat a three-year-old unconscious and keep your job? The second person said, white cop. The relative said, black kid. So, man, man, this is really some 18th, this is really some 1824 PG County plantation colony type of shit, man. This dude out here, he's smashing light-skinned women. He got the dark skin, uh, he got the dark skin uh, mistress. He got the government position. He beating up black kids. You know what I'm saying? He beating up black women. Man, he living like a goddamn colonial planter. <laughs> 
My man living like a colonial planter. You know what I'm saying? On a hundred acres with a hundred slaves. Man, he doing his goddamn thing. That's how he living. That's how he living. That's how. That's the vibes I'm getting. That's the vibes I'm getting. And mark my words. Mark my words. He's gonna be back on the job in no time. He's gonna be back on the job in no time. He's still gonna be smashing black women. He's still gonna be you know getting his money. And it is what it is. It is what it is. It couldn't be my sister though. It couldn't be mine. It couldn't be my sister. Cause if it was my sister, you know what I'm saying? You would have seen officer. You would have seen officer Marlet on Legacy.com. You know, you know Legacy.com where they got the obituaries at? Yeah. Yeah, they, they would have seen that boy on Legacy.com. If that was my relative, I'll tell you that right now. You know, but you know. It is what it is. Let's continue. The relative went on to say this. My nephew is on the autism spectrum. This demon should not be free. She went on to say this. This person at the top said this. I really hope the mother and child are far away from this monster. She said this. Nope, she married him and has three more babies with him. My niece, please pray for them. Man, listen. I'm not about to be praying for nobody laying up with no white man. I'm not about to waste my precious communication with my ancestors to waste their time talking about some black woman laying up with some white man. We got more pressing issues to talk about. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I, when I talk to my ancestors and I be asking them for, for the blessings, I'm not about to waste their energy talking about no black woman laying up with no white man. They don't want to hear none of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My Listen, my my ancestors that I be talking to, they don't want to hear none of that shit. I'll tell you that right now. They're going to be like, Nefakar Desaline, why are you wasting our time with this bullshit? This is what you want to talk about, man. Listen, we got better shit to talk about. Let's continue. This person said at the top, cops covering up and the sad reality that oftentimes the girlfriend or the mom stops participating with the prosecution. It's hard enough to get the child abuse charge, add in cops, and it's no wonder it was dropped. The relative said this, all of y'all are on point. I tear up every time I see the story mentioned about my nephew, who, by the way, is on the spectrum. They did our baby wrong. Man, listen, my thoughts and prayers to the black child for sure. But I'm not praying for I'm not praying for the mom laying up with the white man. You know what I'm saying? I'll send my I send my well wishes to the to the black child on the spectrum though. But let's continue. This person said this at the top. Oh my God! And he beat that poor three year old unconscious. What a piece of crap! The relative said this. You know it's like everything in all of us not to do anything. And you know how he got off? Our nephew is on the spectrum. He didn't deserve any of that. It breaks our hearts to know what happened. What do you mean it's like everything in you to not do anything, bro? If I found out. That my sister is getting beat on by her white boyfriend. And the white boyfriend is beating up on my niece and nephew. What do you mean it takes everything to not do anything? I told y'all, y'all gonna see me on the evening news. Nefakar Desaline, my face gonna be everywhere. I'm telling y'all, when it comes to the women in my family, I'll catch a body and I'll sleep like a baby with no with no nightmares. I, I won't feel a thing because I'm riding out for the women in my family. So what do you mean it takes everything not to do anything? What? And he got, and he got a domestic violence charge a few months ago and y'all still didn't do anything? Man. Now he got caught cheating on his wife in broad daylight. Man, y'all y'all out of pocket, man. Y'all y'all out of pocket, man. I would have been took my sister out that situation, man. Because I would have been took him out the situation, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. But anyways, brothers, before we get out of here, I want to touch on this right here. This was the lady who got caught with the white cop, right? The one who was saying to the wife, oh, you just mad because your husband wants me. Just a total goofy, a total side chick, a total mistress. You know what I mean? Just, man, man. You're a grown woman with like four kids getting smashed in the backseat like a 17 year old. Man, it's just so much goofy shit going on, brothers. But I want to touch on something. You see that she is a member of the U.S. military, a member of the U.S. military. And, you know, I always tell y'all boys the type of women to avoid. Now, I'm not saying I don't want to make a sweeping generalization of all the women in the military. But I'll say this, brothers, if she's in the military, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. OK, that's a red flag, especially for y'all brothers like me. If you don't deal with black women that be dead outside their race, if she's been in the military, yeah, she most likely was was uh, you know interacting and intermingling with you know men from outside the race. Yeah, black women in the military, red flag, red flag, red flag. I mean, red flag. Just listen. Once I hear you in the military, mm, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. And as you can see, it's on brand because look at this lady right here, black woman from the military, running around with white policemen. Listen, it's on brand for a black woman in the military. This is on brand. This is what they do. This is what they do. This is what they do, man. Now, in general, women in the military are known to be promiscuous. But I'm just telling you, if you're a black man like myself and you date black women exclusively and you find out she's in the military, brother, I'm not saying I'm not going to put that jacket on her. I'm not going to put that label on her. But just know it's a very high likelihood that. You know, some white boys from from Nebraska, some white boys from Illinois, some white boys from, you know, Mississippi was having their way on a military base or on the, on the Navy ship or wherever she was stationed at. Yeah. Yeah. So just just know what you're dealing with. Just know what you're dealing with. Anyways, 
I think I might drop that video, the importance of choosing the right mother for your children. Because as you can see, both of these women are mothers to black sons. Now, imagine, like I told you, the mother is the first teacher, the mother is the first nurse, the mother is the first caregiver, the mother is the transmitter of culture. Imagine this is your mother. This, imagine this is your mother. See, I can't relate. I can't relate because my mother, she married a black man who was a high level intellectual, a brainiac who had a 99 average in university. My mother and my grandmother were my first teachers. They gave me my first lessons on history, all that. So I'm telling you, due to the fact that my grandfather and my father chose excellent women to raise their children, that had a, a tremendous effect on me. Now imagine my mother, my father chose a boneheaded woman. Imagine my father chose a bonehead who was chasing after white men and shit like that. I would not be Nefakari Dessaline. I would be an idiot. I would most likely be an idiot if my mother was a, a swirler or a divester. I would be up here talking like Jesse Lee Peterson. I'd be up here talking like Chaotic Truth. I would be up here sounding like a bonehead if my father did not choose the proper woman to raise his children. I'm telling you, I, I think I should drop that video, the importance of black men choosing the right mother for your children. Because whoever got the whoever got this lady pregnant, because this lady right here, the mistress, she has black children. Black children, dark skinned black children. So it was a black man that gave her those kids. So I feel bad for that brother who's the father of her kids seeing her again bent over in the backseat of the cop car but that's what you get brother that's what you get because you chose the wrong mother for your children and when you choose the wrong mother for your children this is what you get but anyways man it's your boy nefakari that's Celine back in the building yes indeed cash shop up on the screen and i'm gone peace on a horse and came back in that ass and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV. They pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need to protect it. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They make a no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you in court. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the Sauce, packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so at least. Shorty be charged that I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.